we would like to ask, what is the average internet speed in Zamboanga City po? Dahil kamakailan po nakakaranas tayo ng paghina na ating mga internet connection, mga mobile networks po natin. Why are we experiencing this low speed as compared to other cities po? Okay, uh, actually, hindi lang naman, uh, uh, hindi lang naman tayo nag-experience ng gano'n uh, kahina sa internet. In fact, it's uh, nationwide. Now, For Zamboanga City, we have noticed that there is an average of 10 megabytes per second for those using internet by a cellular mobile telephone system. While if you are using a landline or a fixed line like PLDT and Globe, uh, your speed will depend upon the plans that you have applied for. Let's say if you are plan 999, Uh, your average speed will speed rather would be at 0.8 mbps. Kung malaki yung plan niyo, so malaki rin yung speed na binibigay ng PLDT at saka ng Globe Innovate sa, sa landline po yan. Now, ang problema kasi sa what, sa sa Sambuaga City is that as of 2019, there are 136 cell sites compared to the 920,000 population of Sambuanga City as of 2019, so makikita natin, the in average internet user will be 920,000 for 136 cell sites. Uh, medyo overloaded na po yung mga cell sites natin. Kaya humihina po yung uh, internet speed if you are going to use the uh, cell sites. Now, uh, sa landline naman, medyo peak sila at an average of 80% of your plan. So let's say if you are plan, if we have plan 20, 20 Mbps per month, 80% of that will be given to you. So wala tayong masyadong problema sa landline. Sa ang problema lang natin yung CMTS, yung cellular mobile telephone system. Sige po. Next question Sige. naman po natin, um, sir. PRRD or President uh, Rodrigo Duterte in his SONA told Telcos to do something about the slow internet signal. Please share with us updates regarding what the Telcos are doing to improve the signal po and the speed. Uh, for, in the Philippines, at saka sa Buaga City, there are only two major Telcos, uh, Smart and Globe. Now, if you will notice, on the past few few months, uh, they are giving uh, text blasts, uh, reminding us, uh, rather, uh, advising us that there will be temporary shutdown or temporary shutdown of their system because they are upgrading. However, uh, what we really need is an additional cell sites. Kasi nga, medyo malaki na yung user. Uh, if we are going to compare it with other neighboring countries, uh, Asian countries, rather, there, there is, uh, the average users per person size is only 1,000 subscriber. So sa atin, medyo malaki sa Sambuanga dahil sabi ko kanina, there are only 136 cell sites. Now, if you're going to divide it by the number of populations, there are at least 6,700 plus users per cell sites. So, ang ginagawa ngayon ng telcos is ina-upgrade nila yung systems. However, sabi mo, that is temporary because what we really need is an additional cell sites or an additional coverage to lessen the number of users per cell sites. Uh, yung KP, yung KPPRD, uh, you know, they, they are going Uh, concentrated sila ngayon on updating their systems, systems capacity and systems, how they run their, how they manage their data, uh, how they manage their data services. Yes, Mabaira. Okay, thank you po, sir. Next question naman po, do our telcos have plans to put up additional cell sites in the far-flung barangays and islands, especially now since students at home 
need internet badly. So, meron po ba tayong mga balita na madadagdagan po yung cell sites natin? As you mentioned po na medyo kulang na yung ating mga cell sites dito sa Zamboanga Peninsula. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ganito po kasi, ma'am. Uh, the rolling out of cell sites, uh, medyo uh, hindi nila binibigay yung data. Kasi uh, they, they do not like uh, to give kung saan, saan nila ilalagay yung isang cell site. Then the problem also uh, is that um, yung, mga tel yung dating dalawang telcos natin, uh, medyo hesitant na sila mag-build ng cell site on the premises that there are so many red tapes. Uh, imagine for one cell site alone, you need at least 25 permits from national government and from the local government. Uh, luckily, uh, at Tempuri rather, uh, meron tayong Bayanihan Act 2. Uh, kina, ini streamline na yung ini streamline na yung process ng 25 units, uh, 25 permits per cell sites. So siguro by that by that Bayanihan Act, siguro pwede na sila mag roll out uh, sa mga power plant areas. Thank you po sir. Sana po no mapabilis nga ang ating process on the additional cell sites po na ipapa tayo dito sa Zamboanga Peninsula. Next question yes, naman po sir, what is the update regarding Dito Telecom? When will they operate? Is it true that they will have lesser prices than the current players? Okay, uh, yung Dito Telecom is, is uh, ang dati kasing pangalan niya is Miss Latel, which uh, yung naka, na, they won the bidding for the play, third Telco player in the, in, the entire, in the entire Philippines. So, during the process, uh, under, uh, sorry, under House Bill number 7332, uh, it is already approved the franchise for, for another 25 years or so. Uh, nakalagay kasi doon from Miss Latel to Dito Telecom. So may rename, nag-rename sila from Miss Latel, Miss, Miss Latel to Dito Telecom, telecommunica Telecommunications. Now, under doon sa kolatilya ng kanilang uh, franchise renewal is that they have to, for the first year, over the entire, 37% of the population of the entire Philippines for the first year. On the fifth year, they are committed also that they have already, they should already cover 84% of the population on the fifth year of operation. So, medyo mabilis ang kanilang paglalagay, uh, paglalagay ng mga tel telecommunication because they have commitment from, from the from the house bill, uh, from the franchise, and also during the, the, the bidding of the third telcos. Now, on the first year, yung Dito telecommunic Telecommunications promised us that they will give a 20, 27 Mbps on the first year of operations. Now, ang maganda dito is that uh, their performance is covered with a bond. Pag hindi nila na-perform itong commitment nila, they will gain to, they will lose, rather, they will lose 24 billion performance bond uh, in favor of the Philippine government. So, if you will see, dito sa Western Mindanao, marami na dito mga proposed site for dito cell, uh, cell sites, cell, cell tower, rather. Sa Sambuaga City alone, Maganda nga yung pan dito kasi uh, at 37% of the population, pwede naman sila mag-concentrate doon sa, sa Manila or sa NCR. However, dito Telecom, with its commitment, they have extended it towards dito sa, towards dito sa atin na pinakadulo. Uh, as of now, there are two ongoing constructions of dito towers in Zamboanga City. Yung iba yung iba nasa nag-denegotiation pa for the cell sites. The problem lang doon sa cell sites is that uh, yun na nga, yung problema nila doon sa security ng cell sites at saka yung health hazard. Sir, may time, may time. Now, uh, 
Now, but, now if we are going to take the cost of cell sites, uh, medyo malaki yung cost ng cell sites. Uh, it's about mga 5 million to construct a cell sites. Now, with regards to the costing of their services, uh, hindi pa natin alam kasi hindi pa nila pinapalabas yung uh, rates nila. Yung lumal may lumalabas kasi sa Facebook na may ito daw yung it, this is the rate of the dito is comparing to the rates of Globe and Trinity medyo alagani po tayo doon sa information na yun kasi as of now wala pa sila lumalabas ay rather pinapalabas na official rates on their services. Sir, meron na po ba tayong timeline kung kailan po ito magiging operational? Wala, wala pa rin po silang nailabas na statement on this. Well, pa. Uh, as of now, they are just rolling out their cell sites. So, pag, pag na-activate na yung mga cell sites, yun na yung start ng operation nila. Pero as of, uh, so, pwede natin sabihin, nag-ooperate na sila, kaya lang, wala pa silang mga network. Uh, pero, ongoing po yung construction ng mga cell sites nila. Po ba nin, sa tingin po ba ninyo, how long po yung period na to? Meron po ba tayo? Kahit estimate lang po, will it take one year, two years po? Uh, yung 37% uh, commitment nila to cover the entire population of uh, the Philippines, it is within one year. However, I, as, I, as, I, uh, as I understand, they have extended for another six months because of the pandemic. But they are still... Uh, going to commit with the 37% coverage of the entire nation, ha? Hindi, hindi lang sa buong city, entire nation yun, 37% of the populations. Additional question naman po from our viewer, is Globe and Smart fair use policy legal? Meaning they lessen the speed of your internet if you are using excessive data. Nasa data cap, nasa data cap po yun. Uh, nakalagay po yun sa kontrata ninyo. That if ever that you, have, you lumampas kayo doon sa data capacity ninyo, uh, yun ang binababa kayo doon sa pinakamababang technology. So, uh, example nito is, if you are only allowed 1 gig per day, however, after fun gig per day, uh, after consuming the 1 gig per day at, at uh, at 4G, they will transfer you to the 3G, yung third generation. So, medyo may data, may data capacity, uh, may data cap kasi yun ba ni, yung mga cellular mobile phone. However, for landlines and, and landlines like the PLDT and Globe Innovate, wala silang data cap. So, doon lang po sa kwan, doon lang po sa CMTS. Kasi po, ah, uh, so, as, as I told you earlier na medyo overloaded na po yung isang cell site natin. And one subscriber cannot hug or cannot, uh, hindi niya pwede akuin yung services doon na siya lang pwede kumuha doon. Last question po tayo, sir. What year po siguro tayo magkakaroon ng mabilis na internet sa Zamboanga City or Zamboanga Peninsula po? Most probably, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, estimate mga five years. However, hindi na naman tayo nag-realize sa dito. Meron din, tayong, meron din tayong programs from the DICT. They are constructing the common towers and they are also, uh, by that time also, they will also be providing uh, internet services. Like what they what, what their program is, like ngayon may free Wi-Fi sila. So yung mga estudyante medyo kung kapos dun sa Sa signal doon sa lugar nila, they can go to the nearest Wi-Fi hotspot of the DICT. 24 hours po yun. Okay. Thank you po. Sir, any additional message po sa ating mga manonood? I think that's our last question from our viewers also. So, meron po ba kayong message for our closing remarks also? Yes. Uh, uh, the National Telecommunications Commission is, is, is a regulatory agency that we regulate the, uh, the, oper the, the operation of telecommunications, uh, all telecommunications in the Philippines. Now, for this time during pandemic, uh, where there will be a spike in the use of internet services, especially on mobile services, uh, appeal ko lang doon sa, appeal ko lang sa mga LGUs is that uh, to lessen the red tapes, 
how to lessen the process in the acquiring of the cell sites. Kasi doon kasi nagbabak down lahat uh, ng mga constructions of cell sites. Uh, especially during the question of health hazards of the cell sites. I don't think DOH will issue a certification 